Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I'm excited to be sharing a layout with you today that I am creating for Bella Boulevard using their Sweet Baby Girl collection. So I've pulled a few products that I know that I want to work with as along with these two photos. And I have chosen this, let me see which one this is called. This is called Sweet Safari pattern paper to start out with. And this is the, the side that I'm going to be using today. And oftentimes, I just wanted to say that the hardest part for me in getting started with the layout is this. And it's the blank page, kind of the fear of the blank page. So what I do almost all the time when I have a blank paper staring at me, I make it into a smaller canvas. So I have something just a little bit smaller to work with and usually that kind of gets my kind of the fear of the blank page gets me past that. So I've taken just a piece of cardstock. I trimmed it down to eight and a half by eleven and a half and then just at the top and the bottom I went and went ahead and adhered these chipboard scalloped borders and they're also from Bella Boulevard. They're a little bit older but I find myself reaching for them all the time. Okay so as I mentioned earlier I've got these two photos of my niece and since there's kind of some negative space here in this photo I'm thinking that I want to overlap them a little bit kind of like that. Okay so the next thing I'm gonna add is there I cut out this journaling card from this piece of pattern paper. It's a cut apart, it's a daily details, also from the Sweet Baby Girl collection. And I'm just going to tuck this right underneath the photos. And I don't want it exactly centered. And then I have a few strips of pattern paper that I want to go under that. And all of these came from the borders paper that goes along with this collection. Okay, now down here at the bottom is where I want to put my title. And this is part of my title. This the this word lovely came from this chipboard set. These are new from from Bella Boulevard. And this one is called So in Love. And I just punched that out and then I wanted to show you quickly the technique that I used to color that. And what I have here is a, they're called Sparkle Watercolor Gel, gel Crayons. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this gel, the gel crayons. And this is a water pen, a water brush. And as you can see, it's already got the water inside. So that takes away a lot of the mess of, of water coloring. And I, I'm just going to use that water to kind of blend that color over the whole surface. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so back to the layout. And so now I'm ready to add my title. And I have a few bits and pieces here that I'm going to add to this, to this layout. I just keep them in a, in a cup sitting beside, or sitting here on my desk. So I'm just going to lay these out roughly, just so I can get the placement before I adhere anything. And I'm actually going to move these strips up just a tiny bit. I don't really want my title overlapping. And since I didn't press that adhesive down really well, they're easy to, to pick up and and move a little bit still. I don't, I want this, not quite so much of that showing. I don't want my title, I want my, the background behind my title to just be white. Okay, so now that I have the placement of my title here, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it with, I've messed around with it so much that there's not much adhesive left on it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of extra liquid adhesive to make sure that everything stays in place. Okay, so now that I have my title adhered, I did go ahead and adhere this little piece, this little chipboard cloud 
as well. And then I have this chipboard giraffe that I wanted to use here next to my journaling. And I just added a couple of pop dots onto that. And then I just have a few things, a few more things that I wanted to add. I love these little cute clips. They're also from Bella Boulevard. And I wanted to add one down here, I think by the journaling would be cute. Just make sure that it's not covering any of my journaling. Of course, one on the photo. And then the other one I wanted to adhere right here on the giraffe, so it kind of looks like the giraffe has a bow. And then I wanted to finish things off with a few stickers from the sticker sheet. I love these little photo corners. We're just going to put these just on the top of the photos. And then I really like these little file tabs. I think I'm going to tear this one in half. They are perforated there at the top. So I'm just going to carefully tear that. And I'm going to put one over here and then one just kind of on the bottom of the photo over here. And just overlap those with the other ones just to bring a little bit of that yellow color that we've kind of got a lot here on the bottom of the layout to bring this, to bring it up to the, more towards the top. And then I also want to bring in a little bit more blue. I've got a pop of blue here and one down here, but that's really the only blue I've got on there. So I'm going to use this, this sticker right here. I think I want to tuck it under that where it says perfectly precious and I really like this pink heart I'm thinking that I want to kind of fill in this trapped white space there but I'm going to put it up on a couple of pop dots and then I really like this heart that I colored I'm thinking that we could put it up on pop dots and put it right right over here next to the journaling. And so with that, I think we're going to call this layout finished. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you making your way here and watching this video. If you could make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this video so that you will be notified of any upcoming videos. Thanks again for stopping by today.